Hey, what's up guys? We're gonna troubleshoot our cross checks. If you're getting tired of not hitting your cross checks, this is gonna give you the detail and details that you do need to get your finishes. Let's have a look. What's up guys, Professor Tom. I'm here with my blue belt student, Jamie, and we're gonna have a look today about the cross check. One of the first attacks we ever learned, but one of the ones that the little details make the biggest differences. So let's address some of those little details now, guys. We start off from closed guard, cross chokes. Guys, what's a cross choke? Well, we have a hand in the collar, we have another hand somehow in the collar, we form an X across, and then we get the choke. So this is primarily a carotid artery attack here. So the carotid artery traces out here, on the other side, here. So we tried to get the styloid heads of our radius and ulnar bones. Okay, so the styloid heads of those lumps there, we try to put them in, okay? Which means we don't really focus on gripping the collar. We focus on putting our hand against the neck and then gripping what's left. Likewise, on the other side, I put a karate chop in. I put that styloid head of, in this case, my ulnar bone right under the ear and then I grab what's left. Okay, don't grab the collar, then try to choke. Put it tight, get the collar, okay? So the basic grip, you can go two hands under, one hand under, one hand over, two hand over, or one hand over, one hand under. You can do all the different variations, okay? But ultimately, guys, a couple that I use the most will be two under and one under, one over. Okay, notice my head guys, one of the biggest things with our cross chokes is the head, okay? So as I go to get this collar, my head goes on this side. As I go to get the other collar, the head goes on this side. But one of his biggest defenses will be his posture. So watch as my head windshield wipers, watch how my legs hold his back down to keep his head within gripping distance of the hand in the collar. So watch as I go to this side, I hold him down with this leg, Okay, now watch when I go to the other side. My other leg will hold him down, okay? So this holds him down in place. I've got my angles, okay? So I can hold him down here, get my grip. Hold him down here, get my grip, okay? Now, if I was going under with my left hand instead of over, I would take my head to the opposite side. So if I wanted to do the eight fingers in, palm up choke, I would turn the collar, always turning it, never gripping it like this, turning it deep. I would go this side and slide my hand in. However, especially when we slide under or we're trying to get a thumb in, the collar is often tight on the neck. So remember guys, when, before you go to finish your choke, while you're setting up your choke, don't pull at this hand. Punch, if anything. So if I pull, this collar's tight, I can't get into it. But if I punch it, it's loose and I can get it deep. Now I can pull and finish. Whenever you're doing cross chokes, guys, just make sure that no matter what kind of cross choke you have, he will resist you, but when he goes out, he's gonna come at you 100 miles an hour when he goes unconscious. So when I have my cross choke in place, I'll always bring my head up to their head so that when Jamie goes unconscious, or if he goes unconscious, he then doesn't do this. I'm pulling, he's resisting, and then whack! I get a full body weight headbutt at warp speed because he goes unconscious and smacks me in the nose, all right? So I always make sure my head comes up, touch his head, so if he goes out, it's fine. Likewise, then he can't eye gouge me or put his hands in my face to stop the choke, okay? So now let's have a look at some of the variations. So as I turn, I come here. If he blocks me with that hand from coming under like this, it's very smart. I grab it, I pull it through, I change to the outside, and now he's defenseless on the blind side. Okay, good little tip. Another one is if I come to this side and he's trying to block with his hand, right, like this, he's blocking. Sometimes I'll go deep, drive back, get in, and get my wrist in, okay? Sometimes our elbow can clear the way for our hand to get in. Sometimes your grips are gonna be crap, okay guys? So, sometimes you'll be a beginner and you get these kind of crap grips. This will never work, but you can learn a secret. 
you want tight, deep grips. Loose grips like this won't choke anyone unless you know a little hack. And the hack is this, right punch, left pull. So we start like here, right punch, left pull. Watch, this grip will not choke anyone unless. Right punch, left pull. That is a hack choke right there. You'll catch all your training partners. Crappy cross choke, punch, pull. Okay, very quick, very easy. It's not a cross choke, that's a hack, all right? So that's a really good choke to do. Anytime we're choking from the mount, guys, with our cross choke, okay? Anytime we're choking from the mount, remember our body weight needs to do the work. So, pose, I get my grip in. My left hand stays staunch, and then my right elbow follows my body. So I'm here, I hold him with my left, and my right elbow follows my body, so that my body comes over the choke, and I get the choke. Notice how I pull my hands out, I don't push up on his neck to make him go out, all right? So when we're doing it from the top, everything's the same, except my body weight comes through that right hand. Just like when I'm in guard, Guys, the top arm just staunches. It's all about the right hand. So in mount, our body weight followed it down, but it's all about the underhand, the first hand, the right hand. In here, I staunch the left and I pull with the right. It's not both pulling, guys. It's not both pulling. The underhand does 90% of the job. So there you have it, guys, cross chokes. When you first start them, you'll struggle a bit. And if you take shortcuts, they will not pay off for you, you know. Develop your time, get your calluses on your fingers, get your strong grips, and you'll be cross-choking everybody. Cross-chokes are very important. Can they be done in a t-shirt and things like that? Yeah, absolutely. We actually have a video on that. You can search back for it. However, I hope you guys have enjoyed it, and I hope one at least of those tips is going to help get you more cross-choking success. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget, check out thegrapplingacademy.com. We've got a ton of free and premium courses. You can get our merch right here off YouTube for Teespring. Thanks for your support of the channel. I love to support your journeys back. Thanks, guys. Take care.